Today's kind of a wash day. It's been raining all day. I got a project I'm working on. It's a rod holder. I'll take you guys to my garage and show you what I'm doing. I already started part of the project. It's something you can do when, uh, <clears throat> when the weather's not allowing you to do anything else on a rainy day. So uh, let me show you what I'm up to. So this is what the day has been looking like all day. It's been raining the past two days. Can't do a whole lot. Um, I moved recently from my old house to a new house and I have to completely redo all the new setups and stuff like that. Meaning that uh, my rod holders and stuff like that I have to uh, do it new in the garage. But anyway, let's take a look back there and see what's cooking. So this is what I'm making guys. It's simply made out of PVC uh, using an uh, inch and a quarter tees with, with piping. Uh, the goal is to take all those rods I got sitting there and store them nicely in there and then put it right in the corner of that. Now, I am planning to make this mobile, so at some point I am going to add wheels to it. But at this moment, I'm just going to try to put it all together and see how it turns out. It's not, right now, it's not all permanently fixed. And just, um, once I get it all done, I'll, I'll give you guys uh, an idea what it'll look like. I'm using this big giant shear to cut this inch and a, and a half pipe. Um, we got more rods there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put all those. Those are kind of backups. More of my crap rods actually, but we'll see. Anyway, folks, I'll get back to you. So I've made a small template for each insertion of the T's. In other words, if I'm going to put in a T, is measure for both ends. I probably could have bought a uh, rod who was simply paid uh, for one already pre-made, but you know what, I, I, I enjoy making stuff, so you know, it's my template, it speeds into the part of the T, and that'll sit like so, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bridge it, you know, at some point, these areas, and then I'll have, I'll cut these into segments to fit the handles of the rods, and then once it's all done, I'll, I'll lock all the all the uh, pieces with with some screws, and then um, I'm going to add some wheels to this so that I can move it around in the garage when I need to. But anyway, that's how I'm going right now. All right, guys. So I pretty much got everything put together. Now I'm just cutting the little pieces here. And inserting them into a spot they do fit in you just get a little snug but they do fit in um, you know you got to kind of work around the the reels but not bad overall um, I didn't show you how this thing works let me uh, so what I do is I template off of one of these so that Do a rough mark. Now be careful with this. The blade will come down on you. I'm supposed to do it with two hands, so 
you get the first spark, you hear it click, come back down again. Simple as that. Notice it cuts it off a little bit on the angle, but it doesn't matter if it's all the tune, it's just going to hold the rod. That's what it looks like. I'm not going to glue these because uh, I actually can add to this. I can just unscrew this and make this bigger if I want. That's the beauty of this rod holder. I'll show you the end result. Well, there it is, folks. All my rods. I got 14 rods in there. I still have space for three more. Um, I don't think I'm going to be buying any more rods, but I can still add more to this if I. Well, here it is, folks. The final stage of it. When I was talking before, I ran out of battery on the GoPro. But basically, this is what it's going to, you know, what it looks like. I put wheels on it. I actually made a little nice handle here. So I can move it on. But I also can take this out. And make it into another spot for a rod. Uh, it took me about basically two days, you know. Um putting an hour or so into it you know I could have probably finished it sooner but I kind of lost interest at one point and then I came back again so it's it's done it's gonna go in there I'm gonna take all those rods and present them in so I'll show you what it looks like after I put all the rods in so there it is folks all the rods in place I still got some entry, empty slots, got one there, got another one there and another one back there. I could actually add a little more to this, but like I said, I'm not planning to buy any more rods. I got more than enough, and as I break one, I replace it. You can only fish but so many rods. And that's it, folks. That's a homemade rod holder. Thanks for watching.